This creature sitting in a cage in someone's living room is called a slow loris. As its name implies, it does move rather slowly, and a lot of people find it adorable. However, a cage in a person's living room is the last place that a slow loris should be in. The Sunda slow loris is one of the three primates native to Singapore's rainforests. It is nocturnal, foraging for tree sap or nectar, as well as little shoots and insects. Other than their large eyes that see in the dark, they are also known for being venomous. Since they are only active at night, their population is difficult to track. However, they are considered critically endangered by local wildlife agencies, with their homes being cut down for urban development. What's worse, they are also poached for the illegal pet trade. Their eyes and endearing demeanour fetch handsome profits in the exotic pet market. In order to catch them, poachers often intrude their homes and shine torchlights at them, permanently damaging their eyes. To protect their would-be owners from venomous bites, the loris's canines are usually filed down, or even forcefully removed without anaesthesia. A truly agonising experience for the loris. Without their one and only way to defend themselves, rescued lorises of such cases cannot be returned to the wild. At worst, they could die from infections or from being unable to eat. While poaching hasn't been recorded in Singapore, cases of illegal ownership of lorises have been caught here. Offenders can be fined up to $50,000 and face up to two years in prison. In the best case scenario, if a loris gets rescued from illegal ownership or sale, it can be released back into the forest if they are native to Singapore after a checkup. Species of slow loris that were imported have to be housed with Wildlife Reserves Singapore. Without their canines, they would need to find a more permanent home than WRS. Even if they do get released into the wild, a slow loris should never have to go through the emotional distress of being poached and sold as a pet. They are wild animals that should remain in the wild. So, how can you help? If you learn of any legally owned or sold exotic animals, you can call the Acres Wildlife Rescue Hotline. You can also donate to Acres to help fund their rescue efforts. With your help, the slow loris can stay in its home in peace.